Our winner says it took a little prodding from her principal to step out and to try something new in her classroom. At Sand Creek Elementary, under a banner of freedom. I want you guys to tell me what is a symbol? Something that represents something else. Something that represents something else. These first graders are learning how one thing can represent something else. I have a question for you. What symbol represents Mrs. Schumacher? And how questions are an important part of critical thinking. You cannot guess what it is. You have to ask me a question. Does it start with a P? Is it skinny? Does it have a snout? Go ahead, you can say it. Okay. We've been really trying to show them what a symbol represents. Are you ready? Whether it is a symbol about me, their teacher, it's my favorite pig, the squeaker. Or if it's a symbol that represents their nation, how they can make those connections and how symbols bring us closer together. To these students, the abundance of pigs may also symbolize a newfound independence. The Statue of Liberty. Even though these little guys are only six or seven years old, they're being encouraged to lead their own learning. I've t taught the bare minimum just to spark that interest and then I'm kind of letting them go to see what they can do um, as a team and work together, really just to collaborate together. In the past, that would have been about as common as a flying pig. I talk and they get and sit then they and sit and write and it's super <laughs> quiet. And I've let go of that a lot this year in my room. Yeah, I put the American Eagle in it. Even when we're doing activities in the morning, I don't want them just to sit at their desk all the time. I mean, they can get up and move. You'll come into my room in the mornings, even during literacy hour, and kids will be sprawled out on the floor working with partners. Instead of lecturing, she now supports her students as they research. Showing them that they can find information on their own, that I'm not going to be the person to give it to them, it's making it a real world experience for them. Which stand for the 13 colonies that became the first states. And that has opened new doors for learning outside of the classroom. I mean, I hear parents come and say to me, oh, my kid is, was so excited about learning about the Statue of Liberty. They were on um, the internet all night on my phone Googling about it. For first graders, it's just a matter of encouraging their curiosity. They're questioning me more, and they're becoming really good um, question askers as we kind of go through the process. It's asking simple questions. It's, it's kind of thinking about the kid who said, well, I want to know how many pennies it would take to make the Statue of Liberty. When you get first graders asking questions that are really out of the box thinking, um, that that's the proof in the pudding right there. He actually has a little fact over here that it took 1,360,777,110 pennies to cover the Statue of Liberty. She definitely is an educational risk taker. They are going to learn all about R Mount Rushmore. Which means I'm going to try something I new today that I didn't try yesterday. And it may not be what everyone else is doing, but I'm going to give it a go. And it took um, my principal a few years ago to actually tell me, take some chances. And it took that for me to actually feel confident to kind of step out a little bit on my own. Mrs. Schumacher says that it's important for teachers to try new things and to continually grow. You're not always going to be the same. You're adapting and changing. And if you're not going to adapt and change to where your kids are, then they're probably not going to have fun in, in the classroom. Congratulations to Robin Schumacher, the 2014 Elementary Apple Award winner. You know, first graders are still learning a lot of things, how to read and work in groups. So how do you push them to build their skills even higher every day? I mean, just challenging them to step out of the box and really for me to try and do something different um, with them and just to try new things all the time. I'm eager to try new things and I'm teaching them it's okay to make mistakes and really just to step out of that box. All right, it shows. In your role, you have the opportunity to work with teachers on new technology, including something called Toon Boom. Oh, Want to yeah. explain that? Um, I've been stepping out. My principal gave me an amazing opportunity um, to do some animation software. Um, I went to the training. It took me two full days to make a movie, and it took my kids like 120 minutes with fifth graders to make a movie. So uh, they're better than me now, but they're first graders and they're doing animation software and it's really awesome, so. That is amazing. Yeah. Congratulations, Robin. Thank you. Thank you, Sam Free.